Well, if you've been in trading for any amount of time, you've heard about covered call writing, but which options should you sell against the stock that you own? My guest today is Alan Elman to talk about that. He's an expert in this area. So, Alan, if I own a stock, do I sell in the money, out of the money, at the money? There's a lot of choices here. Yes, there are, Tim. Uh, it's a great question and a question that most covered call writers don't address. Most covered call writers will automatically sell the out of the money strike price. As an example, you buy a stock for $28, you sell the $30 call. The reason that's such an appealing strike price is because you generate cash from the sale of the option and you have an opportunity to generate additional cash from the sale of the stock. Now, that's a great strike price to use in a bull market. It is the most bullish position you could take as a covered call writer, the out of the money strike. Now, the at the money strike is also a bullish position, not quite as bullish as the out of the money. That will generate the highest initial return but will not allow you any share appreciation of the stock because in that example you buy a stock for 30 and you sell the 30 call. So that stock can go to the moon, could go to $40, you're still required to sell it at 30. It also doesn't afford you any downside protection of the time value that you've captured from selling that particular option. Now, the most interesting strike price is the in the money strike price because that's one that almost no covered call writers use and yet one that should be used under certain situations. So let me give you another example. You buy a stock for 32, you sell the $30 call for $3. Of that $3, $2 is intrinsic value because it's in the money by $2, not profit. The $1 is profit. So in that particular trade, you're generating 3% right off the bat. But you have no opportunity to generate any more because you're required to sell the stock at 30. The $2 of intrinsic value will give you downside protection of that $1 of time value. So what that means is that stock can go from 32 to 31.50 to 31, all the way down to $30, and you're still guaranteed that 3% one month return. So in the money strikes are applicable in bearish markets, in volatile markets, or when the chart technical is mixed rather than all bullish. All right, and we talked about price. What about expiration? Should I take the next month out, three months out? What do you look for? I look for one month expirations. The one month expiration, if you look at any options chain and you look at the return you get on the one month versus the two month versus the longer out expirations and annualize those returns, you will see that the one month will give you the greatest annual return. Now, there's one other factor why I don't go further out and it's, it's very important and I think your viewers should really highlight this particular fact. Covered call writers should never ever sell a covered call when there's an upcoming earnings report prior to expiration Friday. So as your viewers know, expiration uh, of um, the, the contracts come out and uh, earnings come out quarterly. So you never hold on to a particular contract more than three months. So I do one month contract, then I might do the next month, and then I might skip a month because of the earnings report, and then pick it up again after the earnings report. And that's just because it's so volatile around that time? Earnings reports can come out and ruin your entire profits for that particular month. A disappointing earnings report can just ruin everything. So why take the risk? Covered call writing is a conservative strategy for conservative investors. So if you, even though the option premium itself will be greater because of the implied volatility of the option is greater prior to earnings, it still creates too much risk. So I never, this is actually a rule in the blue collar methodology. It's not a guideline. Never ever sell a covered call prior to earnings. Alan, thanks for your time. My pleasure. You're watching the moneyshow.com video network.